The Mandalorian, Baby Yoda. They make an epic pair of epic proportions. One is super cool and the other is insanely cute and we can't get enough of them both. But in season two, a crazy new rumor is floating around that the Mandalorian may not be featured in many episodes. So our main hero, Din Djarin, may not be in many episodes. This is according to a popular movie reviewer who claims she has a reliable source telling her that Pedro Pascal, who of course plays the Mandalorian, had a falling out during the filming of season two with the creative team at Lucasfilm. And today, we are going to explore the details of this crazy and disturbing new rumor, potential evidence validating the rumor, and what season two could look like if the rumor ends up being true. And remember, before we go any further, this is just pure speculation for now until Lucasfilm, Disney, or Pedro Pascal confirm if the rumor is true or not, or until we find out ourselves when The Mandalorian Season 2 debuts on October 30th. And if you like Star Wars and are super excited for the return of The Mandalorian, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring that galactic bell louder than the destruction of Alderaan. And without further ado, let's dive into this video. So the seeds of a problem with season two began with a tweet from reputable movie critic Grace Randolph on September 1st. Updating her followers with where a trailer for season two was, Randolph reported that Disney was not happy with the trailer and that there were several big production problems during shooting as well as some small reshoots that needed to occur. The following day, when Disney confirmed the release date for season two to be October 30th, Randolph tweeted that the big problem with production happened during principal photography and had since been resolved. On September 8th, Randolph reacted to an Entertainment Weekly article that featured The Mandalorian and stated that a second source has confirmed the rumor that she has yet to reveal. Now, this all changed on September 15th when the trailer for season two dropped. In the reaction video to the trailer, Randolph finally gave the details to the problem that occurred throughout production. And according to her source, this is what happened during filming. So this is what she said. She said, Pedro Pascal wanted to have more scenes with his helmet off to give him more face time on the show. The Mandalorian creative team said no to this request and due to this denial, Pascal became difficult to work with on set and complained about having to wear the suit as it was uncomfortable. According to Randolph sources, the last straw was Pascal asking the higher ups at Lucasfilm to intervene with the production and insist that Mando be able to take off his helmet more often. And because of this, the Mandalorian creative team supposedly asked Pascal to leave production. So there it is, there's the rumor, what do you all think? Now, we here at the Star Wars headquarters feel that part of this story doesn't really add up. Uh, keep in mind that Pedro Pascal doesn't usually wear the Mandalorian suit since most of the time stunt doubles are used while Pedro simply lends his voice for the role. And occasionally he will suit up for specific scenes, but most of the time he is providing his voice while a stunt double wears the suit. So that part of the rumor where he's complaining about being in the suit all the time, it really doesn't add up. Now, on the other hand, some fans believe this rumor could be true because they also felt that the trailer didn't really show enough, indicating that maybe Disney could only show a limited amount of The Mandalorian due to these rumored problems. Now, it could be that Disney did not want to spoil any major plot points and reserve these plot points and big reveals for when fans view the season for the very first time. And we here at the Star Wars HQ believe it to be the latter because we feel that the trailer was made this way to avoid major plot spoilers or big character reveals. I just don't believe that production problems caused any problems with the trailer uh, because the trailer was freaking awesome. And after all, a trailer should be something that serves as a teaser, leaving you wanting more instead of spoiling these major plot points and character reveals. And we feel that's exactly what the trailer accomplished. And we hope that, you know, future uh, Star Wars trailers do the same. So there it is. I just want to talk with you all about this crazy rumor that's going around. So many people have mentioned it to me and, uh, you know, have requested a video on this. So let me know what you all think. Do you think the rumor is true? 
do you think that there were indeed production problems? Um, again, I'm not sure about it. I think everything looks good from the outside looking in uh, because again, Disney, Lucasfilm have not really indicated any problems. The trailer to me really did not indicate any problems and uh, Pedro Pascal certainly has not uh, indicated any problems as well. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again for watching the video and also leave a comment below. What videos do you want to see here on the Star Wars headquarters? I'll see you all next time. Stay safe and may the force be with you always.